Hello YouTube and welcome back to What The Math. In today's video we're going to be discussing the last topic from chi-square chapter and this is the p-value. So this is something that shows up on your calculator when you calculate uh, the chi-square. So what is the p-value and what is it for? Basically this is this was to help us answer this question. And the question is how do we use the chi-square without the critical value table? Basically how do we actually solve for the null hypothesis? How do we find if our null hypothesis is incorrect if we don't have the critical value or if we're not given the table? Now on a test you're not going to have the table, you're only going to have the calculator. And this is where this comes in. This is where p-values come in really handy because they basically help us with all this. So in other words, when you have no critical value of chi-square and when you also have no table for critical values you then have to use the p-value, use p-value. So let me just explain to you what it means um, and we're going to use a question uh, from the book for that. And here's one of the questions from the book. So there's a hockey player named Julie who wants to find out if the position of a, of a, of a player in, in a hockey game affects the likelihood of being injured. So she asks random players and she gets these numbers right here. And here's the question. So she wants to test this at 10% significance level. So there's 10% significance level here. And she wants to find out what the variable position and injury type are independent. So that's her null hypothesis here. So her null hypothesis is that uh, basically these are independent values, so there's no relationship. And she wants to know this with 10% accuracy. So basically, normally we would say this is alpha of 10%, but here, because we don't actually have the critical value table, there's no value uh, of critical uh, chi-square anywhere, we need to change this. And this is where basically we change this to a p-value. So what we're going to say is this, we're going to say our p-value is 0.1. So this is 10%. Basically p-value is probability value. And let me just try to explain to you what p-value actually mean, means in terms of weight, like in layman terms basically. So let me just draw um, a normal distribution right here, a normal curve. And this normal curve has, let's just say a mean right here, and this mean is going to be, let's just say it's 10 or something. And then there is this one standard deviation here, and then another standard deviation on the other side, and the second standard deviation, and so on. It's not exactly perfect, but it kind of looks like this. And let's just say this represents a number of, the average number, or basically the number of uh, chocolates you eat per week. So this is number of chocolates eaten. And then we're going to make another normal distribution graph with another mean right here, and this distribution graph is going to represent a slightly different value. This is average chocolates when you're on a diet. So basically on a diet. And here, what you would maybe want to find out is, um, you know, is there a difference between how many chocolates you eat when you're on a diet or not? Now, if you look at the mean um, of the second nor normal distribution right here, if you look at this mean, it's actually about two standard deviations away from the mean of the other. Or in other words, the probability that the mean would be here by accident, or on this side, I guess, on this side as well, the probability of this being completely by accident is very, very low. It's actually only this part, which is, if you were, let's just say this is two standard deviations, this would be approximately, it would be approximately 1.5% um, on the left side, and 1.5% on the right side. So it's actually only 3% that this would be completely by accident. And if we were to test this with um, a p-value of 10%, if this was 10%, then it's obvious that it cannot be by accident. It's most likely that because there is actually an effect here, there's some kind of a um, something happening here that you eat less chocolates when you're on a diet, then when you're not on a diet. So if this was 10% significance, we would say uh, reject the null hypothesis and this would be an example where you would accept your uh, H1, your alternative hypothesis. However, if this was only 1% significance level, then you would still accept the H hypothesis. So here H0 is accepted. If this was only 1% because um, this here and this here together only gives us 3% significance level. 
So this was kind of a visual representation, but now let's try to do this problem on a calculator and see what p-value we get for it. And step number one is we're going to go into the matrix and enter all of these values. And this is a matrix that is, oops, I clicked on the wrong button, uh, edit, and this will be a three by four matrix. Then enter each value into each of the boxes and then we're going to click on stat and go to tests and down to chi-square test, which is usually C, um, and click on enter, calculate, and you get the p-value of 0 0.02. You don't even have to look at chi-squares or dfs here, you're just looking at this number right here. So on the test, what you are going to be basically explaining is that because the p-value is 0 0.02, uh, since p value is 0 0.02, we reject the null hypothesis, reject our h0, uh, because our significant p value uh, is 0 0.10, point, uh, 0 0.1. So basically, that's all you have to do, and that's how you would answer this question. If you're not given a chi square, a critical value or if you don't have the critical value table. Essentially p-values allow you to solve these problems really really quickly by just looking at the actual significance level uh, that the problem may provide for you. And this is how you solve this. And basically that's it for p-values. Hopefully this is clear because it's not a very difficult concept. It's basically similar to the errors we were talking about before, but here it really means the probability of getting this particular number just completely by chance. Cool. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and good luck to you. Bye-bye.